taste like? It's very sweet and strange leaf. You know, we, we taste some of the bitters later, which are very, very dry, very, very heavy and uh, gentian. It does contain uh, gentian, cloves, and cinnamon, all of which are proven to sort of be good for the stomach and to settle things down. So when you are a sort of a, a sick sailor heading on the shore, not only has it got a bucket load of alcohol, which every sailor needs after months at sea, but it does have some of these healing properties. And it never contained Angostura bark. Uh, it was made in the town of Angostura on the Orinoco River. There isn't a bar in the world that doesn't have a bottle of Angostura. And if you're in a bar that doesn't have a bottle of Angostura, it's not a bar. And if you're in a bar that doesn't have a bottle of Angostura, it's not a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Angostura was one of the first companies to really protect their trademark in law. In 1865, they sued the, another Angostura bitters that was being made further up the Orinoco. So said, no, you can't use the name, and I guess we can, Angostura. The courts decided that because Angostura, from the town of Angostura, which at this point no longer existed, had been using that name for longer, they were awarded the worldwide cake diet. We all heard the story of the label. In the classic bartender style, they were rushing to get sample bottles of their product to a competition in Europe. Two brothers said, right, we haven't got time to do this properly. You go get some bottles, I'll print some labels, it'll all be great. They came back, the labels, of course, were too big. They didn't have a choice. Packaged it up, sent it off to the competition, and lost. It yeah, was given an award for the worst packaging of the 20th century. <laughs> <laughs> it was completely ridiculous. The label just sits there, it's always counted, it's always ripped. They also said, it's such a landmark, it's so visible and recognisable, don't ever change it. Uh, I drink a lot of coffee and I brew like a French press or a plunger and I'll go probably close to a shop of uh, Angostura and my morning hot coffee. So you take a big glass of cola and you put a big piece of vanilla ice cream on the top and punch it. Angostura bitters. Absolutely delicious. It's just as phenomenal for cooking as it is for drinking.